Dan Gorman. I'm one of the coaches on staff at Tom Ross Fences Academy. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about fences. Basically, fences is very fast, exciting sport. It's a great way to get some exercise, work your brain out, take a lot, and have a good time. Okay, so we've done some three different weapons. The first weapon we most people start with is the foil. The foil they actually originated as a practice weapon for the actual bullets or the FA. The foil is a limited target weapon. You have to hit the body of the weapon because you want to teach proper technique. You also have to teach somebody that they should only hit with a smart action, which is if somebody attacks you, you should block. If somebody uh, is in attack, you can attack them. So you want to do things in a clever fashion. The weapon that you were actually practicing with the foil for in the old days in the, during the Renaissance was the Epe. The Epe was the dueling sword that they used to fight with. If you were fighting a duel, you could take your opponent anywhere on the line. You had to hit him with a different weapon, and you only had to hit first because whoever was hit first through first blood was the person who was most satisfied and honored. The last of the three weapons is the saber. The saber is actually comes from, most people say it comes from a cavalry saber, other people call it there's a dueling saber in northern Italy, which is probably what it actually comes from. But the saber is a cutting weapon, which isn't a sharp edge, but it means you can hit with any part of the blade, you can hit anywhere above the wicks, because the idea is you want to make fast dynamic actions with it. And those are your three weapons. Since in a competition, we have to stay on the strip. The strips are basically 10 to 14 meters long. You want to stay in the middle of it. You're going to move up and down the strip trying to hit your opponent. The strip will have a line on both sides. This is the side line that you have to stay between. And it has a line at each end. If they even comes across the line at their end of the strip, they lose the point. In the middle of the strip, you have on guard line. When you start fencing or whenever a point is scored, the action starts from the on guard line. In the competition, we use electric fencing. Each of the fencing weapons has a socket that the fencer will plug the body cord into. The body cord connects the fencer to a reel. The reel spool is wired in and out as the fencer moves up and down the strip. The reel is connected to a scoring machine by a floor cord. The scoring machine registers whether one fencer hits another on the valid or not valid target area. During the competition, the action is started and stopped by a referee. The referee determines who scores the point, the referee determines if any penalties occurred, and basically the foul will run until one fencer scores 15 touches a time it starts. At the end of the foul, the fencers have to salute each other and shake hands and sign a sportsmanship, very important to the sport, and then everybody continues on to the next bout of the competition until we've determined the winner.